Now to that important message from the parents of two young men, Tim Piazza and Max Groover, who lost their lives in alleged hazing incidents. Their families are now turning their devastation into action, trying to stop what happened to them from happening to anyone else. We recently had a chance to sit down together. The past year has been filled with unthinkable grief for the Groover and Piazza families, both mourning the sudden death of their sons due to alleged hazing at their college fraternities. It's been over a year since Tim passed, and how has that been for you? Awful. Awful. I mean, I never bothered to do his laundry. The hamper's still in his room from college. I'll go in there and I'll hug a sweatshirt. You just keep getting by and, and going day by day. We have two other kids and, you know, we're, we're trying to get back to some sort of normal with them. And Max's birthday was just, you know, a couple weeks ago. And that was really hard on all of us. In 2017, Penn State freshman Tim Piazza was found unconscious after apparently falling head first down a flight of stairs. No one called for help for 12 hours. And seven months later, LSU freshman Max Groover, not even one month into school, was allegedly forced to drink 190 proof grain alcohol. His blood alcohol level was six times the legal limit when he died. Charges have been filed in both cases, but are unresolved. It was a tragedy that brought your families together. It's something that, you know, every parent's worst nightmare. But how has it been to find friendship in this time? We feel the pain anytime another parent feels what we felt. And I know when we read the story about Max, we felt an immediate connection with the family and wanted to meet them. To have this friendship help you all kind of cope with the loss that you all share? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it really helped us through a lot of the pain to understand some of it that someone's actually gone through and shared a similar experience. These were two great kids kids that just wanted to be amongst friends and make people happy, and it could be anybody's child. And for the first time this weekend, the families are uniting with other parents to create meaningful change. We're getting together with a group of other families that have lost children, and our objective that we all share is to talk about stiffer legislation throughout the country. How do we deal with the national fraternities? How do we deal with the universities throughout the country? And then how do we provide a support group for others that are dealing with this? Do you hope to make this an annual thing? I don't know if annual is enough. I hope that we continue to communicate amongst ourselves and have an action plan when we leave there for things to do, for people to take actionable items on and get together whenever we need to. How difficult is it to make changes on these college campuses when it comes to something like this? The challenge is extraordinary. The only way we're going to see change is if we have parents like the Groovers and like the Piazzas come together, people who have lost kids who they loved so much, and make the change themselves. And that's exactly what they're doing. The Groovers are working on legislative reform. Right now, most states treat hazing as a misdemeanor crime, but they want to see this punishable with a felony charge. Currently, the law in Louisiana is up to 30 days in jail and up to $100 fine. They've got laws on the books for if you have too many chickens on your property in a residential area. $500 fine, six months wow. in jail. It's not a deterrent the way the law is written right now. On Wednesday, LSU's task force on Greek life came out with recommendations including a drug-free policy for fraternities, bans on hard alcohol, and a membership contract, which includes a code of conduct. The Groovers say these suggestions are, quote, disgraceful and offer no real meaningful change to Greek life that would have prevented the death of our son. There are a lot of parents out there who have kids who are going to college, kids who are going to pledge a sorority or a pledge for a fraternity, what is your message to those parents? Have your kids stick together. Make sure they have somebody who has their back. Have them report it if they're asked to do something that doesn't feel right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if it doesn't feel right, it's not right. And that strength in numbers with them is what's going to help each one of them. They need to take care of each other. And if they know something is going bad or feels bad, they need to end it right there. And I want to thank all of you for coming here and talking to me and sharing your story. And our hearts and prayers are, are with you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. you. And, and the wounds are still really fresh for these families. Sure. And, and they feel like they did the right thing. They researched the fraternities that their sons were going to pledge. And all things online were great. It said good things about them, stressing education, stressing the no hazing policy. But 
there were complaints that weren't addressed online that they did not see that now have come forward. And I think, you know, this is something that every parent and every kid needs to be aware of. And they think that should be included when, when fraternities are talking about all the, the good that they need to be more transparent. Mm -hmm. That's what the parents are asking the for. The parents are asking for more transparency. They just want the, the, the honest part to come out there so these kids know this okay. is how these things really are conducted. These are some of the things that have been complained about in the past. If it's something that you want to do, you still have to make smart decisions. I think their thing was stick together. If something's not right, yeah. Yeah. stick together and say, I'm not going to do that. And they had two kids, seemed like normal, really good kids who just had one situation that, that ended it's their lives. It's going to be so hard for them to relive this, but they are going to make a difference yes, by speaking right. out. Absolutely. Yeah. I really believe it because they said they're going to make a difference. They're not going anywhere. They're going to stick to it. Good.